the last uh, weekend's amazing game. What are your thoughts on to next fixture this weekend? Um, so we've got Berry um, on Saturday. They are um, it'll be a local Suffolk derby. Um, they seem to turn things around over recent weeks, so uh, I'm sure it'll be a real tough game. Uh, tough place to go. Always get good following there. Creates a good atmosphere. Um, but we go in there on the on the back of I think it's eight eight straight wins. So um, we're full of confidence and uh, and uh, we'll we'll just do what we've we'll try to do what we've been doing over recent recent weeks and uh, and come up trumps again. You mentioned the uh, the, the win streak. Um, that was a remarkable game last Saturday, a bit of a goal fest. Uh, just quickly, what are your what are your thoughts around last last week's game? Yeah, it was it was a tough game. I thought we um, I thought uh, particularly first half we rode a luck at times um, and uh, haven't scored the first goal and I, I think we scored at really good times. Every time we sort of they had a, a really good opportunity and um, our goal led a. Uh, um, Led a lucky life, uh, I suppose. Holty made one terrific save, um, and, and they'll probably blame some poor finishing on on the fact that the the first half was as certainly from a scoreline perspective as as one sided as it was. But it certainly wasn't. It was three 0 at half time. It, it certainly wasn't the story of story of that half because I thought we um, they caused us a few problems on the break. And um, but second half once. They'd scored fa fairly early, and once we immediately replied to that, I felt it was game over, and um, we played the scoreline uh, a lot better after then, and we looked a lot more comfortable, uh, and then and got a got our two goals sort of late on. So, whilst it was the, a, a flattering scoreline for us, um, uh, other teams will punish us if we give them opportunities. But nevertheless, it's three points, five goals uh, that are shared about again, and. Um, and, and a good three points to, to keep us top of the table. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, one thing clear from the sideline that the team were absolutely on fire at the moment. There's a, you know, there's a lot of buzz um, around the team. We're also going into the Christmas period, and I think there's, there's a, it's quite a busy time for fixtures, isn't there? There's, there's two fixtures that are literally one day apart. Yeah. How tough is that sort of to keep the, the momentum going, the boys going through sort of the Christmas period? I think it's probably easier um, in in many ways having having games so close to each other in terms of momentum. You, once you're on sort of good form, the last thing you want, and and that's what's happened to us over recent weeks, is having a game, getting a good win, and then having a sort of two week break and having games called off. So um, we play Bury on Saturday, we play Stowe Market on the thirtieth, and then and then um, our local derby on on New Year's Day. So. Um, Tough time because it's it's about um, it's over the Christmas period. You eat you eat a lot, <laughs> you drink a lot, um, and so um, which is often the case. Um, it's probably who prepares best, who looks after themselves in in between them. Particularly the Galston game with it with there being you know twenty forty eight hours in between in between fixtures. So um, we've got something to play for. We've got lots to play for. Um, so it's one of them that you hope players will look after themselves in, in between and uh, and make sure that come three o'clock or whatever whatever time that we're we're fully prepared to to go and win and keep our run going. I see we spoke a little while ago about some injuries and uh, you've had a new player coming now. How's the sort of squad shaping up in terms of that? Yeah. Uh, so in injury wise, we were really pleased to have. Um, Trav and Murph back on Saturday. Uh, Trav got a good half an hour under his belt. Um, I feared the worst after being on the pitch 20 seconds and, and him getting clattered. Um, but he seems to be okay. And, and then Murph, uh, his shoulder, uh, has been given the green light to, to go ahead and train. So um, it's probably just a, a bit of a confidence issue um, with him. He just needs to get on the pitch and, uh, and play. Um, Dylan's our, our one real concern. Um, he's still not recovered from the Red Bridge game. I think six weeks ago, his ankle's still um, really swollen. So we're waiting for news on on a scan for him. Um, and uh, he's he's his three game suspension that he started uh, probably three four weeks ago now um, has been 
still three games, but it feels longer because it's the number of games that's been called off. So I think he's only served two. He's got one more, one more to serve, and then then he'll be back. Um, this Saturday we've got players unavailable because um, initially that was the it was due to be called on Boxing Day. Um, we've moved that around, and that's um, that's a, a few players have got plans already for. So that will leave us a little bit short um, Saturday, but. Nevertheless, when you when you ride the crest of a wave and when you're in good form, um, players will come in and, and pick up from when then players are left off, and, and, and hopefully that won't make too much of a an ups, ups, um, upset us too much. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Jamie, and obviously all the best for Saturday. We look forward to being there. Thanks very much, gents. Cheers.